Hi, and welcome to another video from the collection of Elementor Tips and Tricks video tutorials. In this video, you are going to learn how to format inline text and apply various fonts and styles within the same section of the Elementor page builder. There is no easy way to apply various styles to the text within the same section using Elementor Page Builder. However, you can still complete this editing by using simple CSS coding. So, to partially format the inline text within the same section of the Elementor Page Builder, choose the section you'd like to edit. This could be either one letter, one word, or any part of that text and add the following CSS codes to both sides of that section. As you can see, nothing changed yet. This code will make sure that any editing through coding applied next will only change the text within. Next, we're going to change the color of the text. After the first span in the stream of coding, type style equals quotation mark color colon paste the code of the color you'd like your text to be changed to semicolon and quotation marks again. As you can see, the Elementor word only has been changed to the color we applied CSS code into. If you're not sure how to obtain the color code, open any of your other web page in a separate tab, click edit with Elementor, pick any sections, click edit, style, text color, pick the color you'd like to apply to your coding, Copy the code of the color and paste it into your CSS coding. The forward slash in the second part of the span CSS coding works as a breaks to limit editing for the chosen section only. And if you were to take out that forward slash, it would edit any available outstanding text within the section of the Elementor page builder. And if you were to restore it, it would limit back editing to the chosen section only. In the same way through the CSS coding, you can apply many more styles to the inline text within the Elementor page builder. For example, you can change weight of the text and style of the text. Editing text through CSS coding may appear difficult at first, but once you've done it a couple of times, it will become second nature to you, and you will be able to easily customize inline text within any part of your website. I will provide current code into this video description for you to copy and paste it into your own Elementor page builder and simply replace it with your own content. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe if you did and I will see you in my next video.